Yeah, yeah, very good. Well, I, hey, remember the settings four and two. Uh, you just will probably go three and two because of the bass in your voice. But that's how mine's set up is uh, four on bass and four, plus four, or, yeah. Oh, God, I gotta look at that. Yeah, yeah, four and two. Duh. Yeah, okay, yeah, I'll check it out. Well, when I get it, I'll, we'll talk, and I'll let you tell me what you think, uh, whatever position sounds the best. That, uh, I guess that's about all we can do. Yeah, well, you know, they're designed for uh, telephone audio, but uh, evidently the, uh, Eric's running his at four and two as well, uh, plus four on a bass and plus two on treble. It brings the richness back in. So check this out. I went, uh, let's see, it was a week ago Thursday. No, two weeks ago Thursday. I went and I had... Uh, office surgery, you know, where they cut some melanoma off the back of my shoulder, and they wanted to see if it was, you know, malignant mass size and all that good stuff, so they sent it off to, uh, you know, some lab somewhere, and he said, ah, it'll probably take about 14 days, uh, you know, before we can actually get results. Well, hell, four days after that scared me to death, man. I got a hand carried. I had to sign for a letter delivered from Loma Linda University to be there on the 9th at a quarter to 8 in the morning, prepared for surgery and all this crap. I mean, scared the living crap out of me. I'm like, what? And then when I went and saw him today, when he took the stitches out, he says, you know, I'm really sorry about that. I told them not to contact you or do anything until after I saw you again and took the stitches out. And I go, well, it was a little late for that, wasn't it, Doc? Oh, yeah. Well, you know, uh, they're Johnny on the spot to send that uh, uh, paperwork out uh, sometimes. And they're really Johnny on the spot to send you the billings three, four, five, six times. Yeah, well, he told me that the radiologist or whoever it is that looks at that stuff, the oncologist that determines, you know, what it is, that he wouldn't even probably, we probably wouldn't even get an answer from him for like two weeks, you know? He didn't even think he'd have an answer by the time I was supposed to be there tomorrow morning at 8.20 to have the stitches taken out. But then my mom laid on me that I've got to take her for eye surgery in Colton tomorrow morning, so... That's why I had to go today and get her done. I, that way I could take my mom because we don't want to cancel that appointment for her. I, I definitely don't want her going blind. I got a good one for you. I heard that. Uh, who's got the good one for him? Yeah, it's me, Chuck, and 2 thc I, uh, I went and had an MRI done and uh, paid for it before they did it because it was out of pocket. And uh, I get a letter in the mail saying that they forgot to bill me for some for the die or whatever, and they didn't. They they just screwed up the billing. So I get the bill and I look at the bill and it's for ninety four thousand dollars. So I called them up and I said, "What is this bill for ninety four thousand dollars?" Oh well, that's for your MRI. I go, wait a minute. I paid for it before you did it, and they used the contrast die, you know. So turns out it was uh, it was ninety four dollars and thirty eight cents for the contrast die. They didn't add it to the bill, but they did. So I got that all straightened out, and I told them, I said, you know, I just wanted to use the machine for a little while. I didn't want to buy it. Oh, holy cow, yeah, contrast die, and it <laughs> tried to bill you 94000 Oh, that's really good. That's some expensive contrast die. Anyway, let me say hi to Chuck. I'll be back in a couple of minutes. i got to go take care of something for the folks. And 6KI, and hello, Chuck. Your mobile sounds good here in Sugarloaf. Well, you sound great here in Prescott. We'll, uh, we'll catch you later. I'll crawl back into the woodwork. And 2THD Mobile. Now uh, you're back up in Prescott again, huh, Chuck? Yeah, I'm running errands. Uh, stop off at Walmart and pick a couple things up. And now my wife's in the pet food store and she's got to go to Target for something. And then uh, the same shopping center, there's a Home Depot.
Post, so I got a swing by there. I, I've been trying to find it 